Welcome to Weld.com. I have a new ESOB Rebel 235. I've got a couple programs in here that we've been playing with and I, I've, I thought about something this morning on the way to work and I thought, man, we need to really, need to really kind of explain this. I love the features and the versatility on this machine. What I was thinking about was, uh, I think we did a video here recently where we were, we switched over to 045 diameter wire and we were running C25 on SMIG program. <laughs> And the SMIG program is uh, you, you set your material thickness and you have a wire feed speed. Now I'm curious to see what's going to happen if I switch that over to 95.5 gas, 95% argon, 5% oxygen, which is something that we would normally spray with. I know the machine has guts enough to, to switch over and we'll spray with it. I haven't yet, but I'm just real confident that this machine will handle it, even on the 045 wire. So what I want to do is I want to hook up the 95.5 gas. I'll probably be running about uh, 25, 30 cubic feet per hour. I want a little bit more gas around this weld. So I want to tack up some 3 8 plate, and I want to pull the trigger on SMIG with it turned up all the way the 250 inches a minute max is what it runs on. I just, I'm curious to see what the machine will do and what the reaction is. This particular weld right here that I'm looking at is the 045 SMIG with C25 gas, 25% argon, I mean, I'm sorry, 75% argon, 25% CO2. So I'm thinking, you know, if it doesn't try to bump itself over up into the spray, whatever's gonna happen, I'm thinking it might come out pretty close to this. And then I wanna step over and I wanna change this back over to straight MIG. And I wanna adjust my voltage and my wire feed speed as I normally would, as I would set the machine up for spray. I'm guessing, uh, you know, I think, I'm thinking the numbers that I want to go to right away on 045. I just want, let's go 27 and a half volts, 27 and a half volts. And I'll try in and around uh, 375 inches per minute on the wire feed speed. So let me get my uh, safety glasses on, get dressed, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. <clears throat> I uh, tacked these up on the back side here. Again, I'm running on the uh, SMIG side of this, 250 inches a minute, 3 8 plate. It only goes to 3 16 Again, experimenting here to see what's gonna happen with an arc fissure and the uh, uh, features in the, the bead size and whatnot, but I'm running on 95.5 gas. So let's pull the trigger. I'm gonna use probably, uh, for this I'll probably be straight in, maybe slightly pushed, but let's see, let's get going here. Got a heavy pop going on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn, make a slight adjustment more to the concave side. I'm gonna weld back toward myself this time. Convex, good shape. I mean, it sounded okay, but you know, if we're that close and we have 95.5 gas on, why don't we just go ahead and spray? This is nowhere near spray. As a matter of fact, voltage said 16.2 and the amperage said 221. I need to change this machine. I want to spray, okay? And I know that I know that Big Boy here is going to handle it. So I'm going to come over here and go from S Mig up to regular MIG. I'm gonna go 27 volts, 390. I think I wanna go 400 on my inches per minute. Come on, go to 400, thank you. Um, I think I wanna try it right here. 27 volts, 400 inches a minute, 95% argon, 5% oxygen. 
I'll do this weld half and half. I want to push this away from me for the first half of the weld or so. I'm going to go about 10 degrees forward. The second part for camera angle, I want to, uh, I want to pull it back toward me here. Same, same lead angle and everything. All right, let's have some fun. Let's dance here. Pretty nice reaction there. I have a, just a little bit of a crackle going on. Uh, arc length might be just barely short. Let me go down five inches a minute in my wire feed speed. See if we can't soften that up. Get rid of that part of it. <clears throat> As I was looking at the uh, arc, this wire just turns into a needle right as that enters the arc stream. I went down in wire feed speed and it seemed like I had more crackle. Maybe I need to be down into the 390 inches a minute or up a half of a volt. I'm gonna vote go up in half of a volt I'll go on the back side here. I do want to cool this off so I'm not, it's a fairly small part, a fillet weld on 3 8 plate. I'm going to go up in a half of the volt and I'll, I'll leave it at 395 inches a minute. I'm going to cool this off, I'll be right back. So one thing to note here, when I'm on spray, I do have quite a bit longer stick out. About five eighths, three quarters. It's got a little glass showing. I think what I wanna do is, uh, I, wanna, I wanna cool this off. I just wanna dip it in the tank, take all the latent heat out of it. I wanna do a three pass weld. I pulled this weld back toward me. I think I want to, I'll go in here and I'll lay one on bottom and I'll lay one on top, but I won't finish them all. I'll leave them staggered so we can see all three passes. Be right back. Uh, that there to tail end was me. I always keep too light of a pressure on the trigger here. Go one more and see what happens. Welcome back. Let's recap on everything we did today. Uh, we started out and we did a, a, an SMIG 045 wire, 95.5 gas. We pulled the trigger and did a, a fillet weld and it reacted kind of like we thought it would. It was, it was kind of soft. You could tell it had the heavy argon to it. It welded okay. We went ahead and switched on up into the spray mode and ran 27, 27 and a half bolts and 390, 400 range in our wire feed speed. We did the uh, single spray pass in the, in the center here and we stacked two more just to show a little buildup. Could we have gone higher? Sure. Uh, you know, the machine goes to 30 volts, 700 inches a minute on wire feed speed. I don't want to run 700 inches a minute. It's too high for an 045 wire to get the right combination of voltage and amperage and your arc length and uh, get the right spray. But we could have gone up a little bit, and I know some people run a little hotter. I like to run hotter, depends on the weld we're doing, but uh, you know, we gotta guard against undercut and get our bead, bead profile blended together. Somebody, uh, I, I, I remember this here recently, I think I was reading a co viewer comment, and somebody wrote, does he spray in the vertical? 
does he spray? I'm assuming that means me. I had, to, I had to answer to this particular person, no, I do not spray in vertical. You're more than welcome to try, I won't do it. <laughs> I'll spray in the overhead, believe it or not. I've done that numerous times. There's a, there's a gun angle and a travel speed that you can hit pushing your electrode or your wire forward, <clears throat> believe it or not, it's like a surface tension or magnetism and you can get a fillet well to stick overhead with spray. Anyway, uh, good machine, good arc features. Um, I kind of noticed a little bit in an output setting. I don't know if it's an issue. I'll have to run a bunch more and kind of go through some ranges to see what's happening here. But again, Wow, I mean, we can run 023 wire on sheet metal, 030, full range of 035. You can spray on anything, even the 045. We haven't even run flux core yet, so that'd be maybe that's our next video. I don't know. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching Weld.com. Make sure you subscribe to the videos. New videos come out every Monday. Thank you. Good Lord, where were you on that one?